What is up, Epic Gamers? Welcome back to a brand new video. Inside of today's video, I'm going to be going through with the five brawlers that I'm best with and the five brawlers that I'm worst with. Let me know down in the comments which brawlers you guys are bad or good with. If you guys did not enjoy the video, make sure you enter create a code YD in the shop as well as leaving a like and subscribing on the video. Thank you. All right, guys, starting off at number one, it has to be Spike. I think this is the brawler that I'm best with out of all the brawlers. So I really have always loved Spike. It was the first brawler that I pushed really high. OGs will remember me pushing to 1500 trophies with Spike. And um, yeah, that's a long time ago. So it might not say uh, something now, but since then I've continued to play loads of Spike. So it's one brawler that I really like. And I think I'm really good with it as well. Probably my best brawler. So that has to come in at number one for sure. Coming in at number two, I'm going to be picking Sandy. Sandy is one brawler that I have played since release loads. And this brawler has been viable in competitive. Like I have been playing this for days and days. I don't know how much playtime I have with Sandy, but it's a ton. But Sandy have changed a lot because Sandy got a really good gadget. And the stun, you can make incredible plays with the stun. And I think that I am very good with Sandy. It's not the highest skill cap brawler in the game, but I think still in Brawl Stars, it has a lot to do with uh, where you're standing, like placement, etc. And even though the skill cap is not so high for Sandy, I still play it quite well. Here, we can get a good stun through. And we're getting the goal. <laughs> yeah, it's one brawler that I love very much. So that's going to come in at number two. Coming in at number three, you guys have waited for it. It's going to be Mortis, one of my signature packs, especially throughout 2019 and 2020. So this year I have not played it so much, but now it's starting to get really strong again. I loved it, especially much when you could do the trick shots, etc. in Brawl Ball very easily. Now, after the changes to Brawl Ball, I haven't been doing as many trick shots and trick shot videos, but I still love to play Mortis and I still do a lot of Mortis so I don't think uh, I'm quite good with it that's what this list is all about get the call here as well for the <laughs> for the game I'm playing I'm playing I'm trying to commentate and play but yeah there what I love so much about Mortis it's that you can just score so quick games and yeah can have such a game changing uh, factor for the games and yeah it's a lot of fun to play the mobility can be deadly and that's why Montes has to be number three. All right, you guys, at number four, I'm bringing Bibi. Bibi might come as a surprise for some of you, but there is a lot of brawlers I feel like that I could pick between here for the fourth spot. But Bibi makes the difference because I just really like Bibi. Yeah, you can make a lot of small, cool plays with Bibi. With the super, you can do a lot of combinations. It's really good in Brawl Ball too, to do trick shots. I think I'm very good with it. And if, if we need a Bibi in the team, I'd say Definitely, I'm gonna be the one playing BB. I think recently it was in Siege mostly that BB was being played to run and pick up the balls, but that, now they're just better options. But I'm definitely hoping to see BB back. So, yeah, BB is coming in at number four. Coming in at number five, we got none other than Crow. For a very, very long period of time, Crow was not part of the meta. And yeah, it's especially this year, Crow has gotten a buff, and now the slow is really good and it's being played a lot. So, Crow. Super fun to play with the jumps and just how it functions, jumping around. Very fragile brawler, but um, yeah, very effective if you play it well. So yeah, I really do like Crow a lot. Takes a long time to get the, get the jump as well, but if you're timing the jumps right, if you're timing the slows right, you can have a huge, huge impact. It's one of the brawler I'm, I'm better with, so that's why it's getting a fifth place in this list. And yeah, that was all for the five top brawlers that I'm best with. Alright guys, now to the five brawlers that I'm worst with in Brawl Stars. And I like to think that I know all the brawlers pretty well. Because you need to know all the brawlers playing the game competitively. Just so you have a good idea for how the other team is going to be playing it. If you're up against it, even if you're not playing it yourself. But one brawler that I'm just really bad with it. It has to be Dynamite. Yeah, that's why also uh, <laughs> if I'm trying to play it now, I'm not super great with it. I'm probably still still better than the average player, but for my uh, esports, I would never be able to bring out a Dynamite, that's for sure. Yeah, I don't know if I'm ever gonna be playing Dynamite. If it gets a huge buff, maybe I have to be... That was a terrible attempt, but let's see if I can make a double jump. <laughs> I made a successful double jump, let's go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Dynamite, absolute worst brawler uh, that I can play, not very good. Alright, you guys, here we have my second worst brawler. It's, 
You guys probably have no clue about these, these ones, but B, I'm not very good with B. If I can avoid playing B, I will avoid it, of course. I think I have completely avoided playing B just because I don't really like to play it. I rather force my mates on something else. <laughs> um, yeah, nah, I don't know, actually. I guess I just haven't played B because usually my teammates, they play B. And yeah, that's fine with me. So as long as we have had someone else play B, then I have been able to stay off of it. And uh, now it's a bit late to get started, maybe. But hey, you never know. Maybe I get on a team where they would want me to play B. And then I just have to get started grinding. Some people love it. Some people play really good. And honestly... <laughs> I hate to play against a good B, and that's the worst part about not being a very good B myself, is that it's just so annoying when there's a good B and he just slow you down and destroy you. So, yeah. B, my second worst brawler. Alright guys, my third worst brawler, it's Max. Max has been so viable in the game for so long, but um, yeah, I guess the same would be, like, I haven't had to play max just the mates that i've been with in esports have always been playing max and most of my time going into this game is scrim so when i don't play one brawler in scrim i just don't play it very much and that just ends up with me not being very good with it max my third worst brawler i haven't played that a lot when you don't play one brawler you don't get very good with it shame that i'm not very good with it but hey that's how it is Alright well, guys, my fourth forest brawler, it's gonna be Rico. The reason I'm picking Rico here for the list is just because the people who are good with Rico, they are insanely good with Rico, and I'm not even close to that level. I don't I'm not very quick to see the bounces, I guess. I guess that's my biggest weakness with Rico. With Rico, you really wanna take advantage of that, and there uh, you can see that Rico just well, not that Shelly just destroyed me. <laughs> but yeah, but Rico, my fourth forest brawler. Um there's just so many people who are so so good with it, and again, yeah, I'm most of these brawlers here on my top five voice bro. I don't really get to play them in scrim. Rico coming in at number four. All right, guys, last but not least on my top five worst list, it's gonna be Daryl. Daryl is a tank, and usually I love tanks quite a lot. It hasn't really been me, I guess. I don't know really why I haven't been playing Daryl much, but when you are having tanks, usually you have to go all in. You don't just play normally just one tank in your combo, you go full in. Uh, Bull, Jackie, um, <laughs> Daryl, like, that's just some random combo I just said, but yeah. When we have been picking tanks, again, I have not been the Daryl on the team. There's always been another Daryl, but, uh, yeah, I'm never gonna be the Daryl. So, there you have it. That is my fifth worst brawler. It's definitely, again, people who are just much better than me, who can just bring so much value from the world. So, yeah, they're just gonna have to, um, bow down. And uh, admit it, not not a not a Daryl main. <laughs> Alright, guys. Anyways, that is gonna be my top five best and voice brawlers. I hope you guys ended up enjoying the video. If you did, like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.